Guys, I'm here at my uh, office. I, I do actually work, but you know weekends what it's like. So you guys have been, I've been talking about my project uh, 25, you see. Project 25 by Fishing Fanatics. And uh, we've already started the process. I've sent out all the letters to the uh, various sponsors and things like that there yesterday. I'm waiting for some uh, information. I've got some good feedback from some of the sponsors, so things are looking good. In fact, we've already decided that on the 17th of August, we're doing the first project, which is going to be knife making. With me here uh, at my uh, desk, you guys can see we almost look the same with our colors. This is my main man, Katlejo. Katlejo is, uh, is my project manager. So he's been helping me to get the kits. Uh, currently, we're just using kits from Yusuf Dadu, but as we move along, we're going to obviously open up the project. And I said, it's Project 25 this year. Next year is going to be Project 50, 25 boys, 25 girls. Separate projects, but that's where we want to go with this. Uh, Katlejo, yes, what are you excited about? About knife making and fishing and for the camp because I never went for camping. It's going to be my first time going for camping. Ah, it's such an exciting thing to hear. <laughs> the guy being so excited about it. Let's make that dream come true, guys. Let's make that dream come true. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, assalamu alaikum guys my voice is a little bit weird because i'm still sick um, but uh, we're carrying on the project 25 tomorrow is going to be our first uh, knife making course i'm here at power build in renfontein uh, what's the address of power build in renfontein 97a main road 97a main road the handsome dude that's talking to me <laughs> is the uh, the manager of uh, Power Build here in Renfrew, but he say he don't want to come on the video. I'm but you all know him. You'll be hear his voice. You all know. Camera shy. His camera shot. Yeah. So what we've got here is uh, a sponsorship. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's my main man, TK. TK say how's it to the oh, how's it, how's it here? Yeah. So we've got this um, wood. What do they call this? Brand ring. This is uh, kids. Cleats, yeah. Cleats. So these are cleats. I don't know if you guys can check that clearly. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we've got them sponsored. Those are what we're going to use for the knife handles uh, that we're going to be using for the for the for the knives tomorrow and for Sunday. So this is a very 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 big win for us, Alhamdulillah. And that's come to us as a sponsorship from Power Build, Renfontein, uh, number. 97A Main Road. 97A Main Road. If you're driving on the main road, look to the left. If you're coming from anywhere else into Renfontein, on the left hand side, you'll see Power Build. Uh, come and check these guys out if you guys are looking for good deals on your hardware. Uh, but uh, thank you guys so much. Jazakla to Power Build and to our, our main men. I'm going to say Bulls. Then the Owens know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Catch you guys on the other side. Salam. This life all right, is all so about time. My when my time comes, no one can stop me. Cuts. One thing I love about myself is that I encourage myself. I motivate myself. I believe in myself. And I know God won't fail me. And, uh, we're trying to get these bullets out. This is about the size that, uh, of the knives that the kids are going to be making. And uh, we still got to cut this wood. So the preparation is uh, still far from finished All right, so my main man TK has helped me out a lot today uh, unfortunately he won't be able to help me tomorrow so we've cut that cleats into the handle material that we're going to use I've uh, cut out all of these knife blanks that we're going to use so this is basically called a knife kit comes with the handles and then we've got the pins as well the pinning material 
if you don't know how a knife is uh, is made or if you don't know how a knife is put together and, uh, check out our videos tomorrow and uh, you'll get an idea but that's all for me from today tk away away sharp right guys it's uh, the morning of the the big day you can hear all the excitement yeah yes boys say how's it uh, we're just waiting here at the at the gate of the school the uh, taxi is coming just now and then we're going to be on our way to uh to the workshop so that we can start okay here's the taxi now and uh it's bear marks to us this is the taxi bear marks to us guys bear marks scholar transport they got all the all the paperwork to transport kids Special thanks and shout out to Uncle Abdul for getting this done. Jazakallah, Uncle Abdul, so much uh, for allowing us uh, the use of your transport to take the kids. There's the boys now jumping into the car there. Next time you see us, we'll be at the workshop. Right, so we are now here at my place. A special shout out to Bemat's Tours uh, from here to there. There's the phone numbers, but I will share all of this here on our link. This is uh, Uncle Abdul. Guys that know him know that uh, he does call a transport. And uh, he's managed to bring our boys here today to the workshop. And uh, our Project 25 is officially about to begin. Right, guys, let's get out of the, of the van. All right, Mr. Driver, yes, sir. thanks so much for bringing the kids today. No problem. And thanks to Pemats to us. Yes. Sharp. Pemats is the way. Pemats is the way. Thanks, man. You can see this. Beautiful seats. Huh? Excellent uh, transport services. Uh, you know, for your school and for your social uh, gatherings and stuff like that. Uh, these guys got uh, the latest. Uh, quantums uh, that they do so uh, give them us a shout up uh, so the boys are ready to start the day they've got their safety equipment remember safety first they're busy writing their names on their gloves so they don't lose it remember these gloves must last them from now right till the time when they go for their survival camp uh, they're gonna do the designing of the knives now are you guys excited? Yes. yes. You don't look very excited. Junior, you're happy, Junior. Yes. Sharp. See, he's got his, he's got his glasses on. Nice. Keep your, keep yourself safe. I've got my man Evie here also, mashallah, he's helping me out okay. today. Ladies are working on the bevel cheek that we got, and they're cutting the bevel. This is our uh, Tibu Sisu. A lot of concentration there, make sure that no mistakes. Whose bevel is cut already? Who already cut the bevel? Let's check how it looks. There's Zubair. Yeah, we're not going to cut it too much because we're going to do the heat treat just now. That's, That's fine, man. Lovely. Nice, well done, Tibu Sisu. Hey, hey, hey. So we've reached the, the part where the knives are already have taken shape and uh, we've now got uh, the bevels on there, which is that cut showing the thickness going from thick on the spine and getting narrower. And now we've got Cabello here. He's going to do the heat treat. I have talked him through it. This is the most dangerous part of, of a knife making. Uh, simply because you can't get burned, that's why he's got that special thick gloves on there. Just open up the oil there for me. So what he's going to do now is he's going to put the knife in until it gets red hot and then we are going to quench it in the oil which we've got there. They're going to do it one at a time. I'm not going to let too many of them come around here. Let's first see the first part of the process. So come, how I showed you, right? Put it into that very hot fire there. 
the, the, no, put it the other way so that the blade part is first. So now your knife is getting hot there. Yeah. All right, let's see how it looks. Getting there. Just see there's a few rough patches there, so try and make it as equal as you can. We got our first knife in the fire already. That's our main man, Junior. He's nicely uh, protected. He's got his eyewear, he's got his uh, big gloves, he's got the tongue. That fire is very hot there. I'm going to give you a countdown, you're going to pull it out, you're going to see if the colour is right and then you're going to put it into the... Hold that, hold that plier nice and tight, you ready? Right, five, four, three, two, one, go! Pinch it, nice, right, in! Lovely. Fully, we got our fully. first quench. Yeah, let it go right, let it go in, but don't... Yeah, right, good, good stuff. Right, take it out, tap it again. Nice. Take it out, let it drop in that oil there. Lovely. You all saw what he did, ne? Right, so everybody's going to get their chance. The next guy comes, start putting the next set of gloves on. Very nicely done. Junior, put it on top of the bride stand there on the side. Right, good boy. Next. Three, two, one. Hold it tight. Uh, hold it. Stop, stop, stop. One end. Yeah, hold it one end. Right. Quickly in the fire. That thing is nice and hot. Lovely. Push it more in. Good. Let it drop into the oil. Right, gents. It's time for lunch. Uh, a big shout out to Burgers and Beyond here in Renfontein. Who supplied us with lunch? Bring the drinks. Guys, you can all each one grab one of your lunch there. What's it, guys? What's it, guys? Uh, I think it's a bunny chow. So. Yeah? yeah. Remember, if you guys don't finish your food, flavors. you can wrap it up nicely so don't throw your papers away. Konaleng, it's one flavor for everybody. It's, uh, it's uh, what they call kota. <laughs> it's kota, yeah. Guys, let's say thank you to Burgers and Beyond, guys. Thank you, Burgers and Beyond. Burgers and Beyond. So you guys want some lacquer chow like this kota, yeah? Don't forget to uh, contact the guys, uh, Uncle Shiro from Burgers and Beyond. Uh, I'm going to leave the light is to chow. You can see that they're quite uh, heavy concentrating on their food. Burgers and beyond here in Renfontein. Uh, I'll put up uh, their logo and their phone numbers if you guys want to call them. If you're ever in the area and you want to get a good, good chow, Burgers and beyond are your guys. Teach your sons how to work. Teach your sons how to work so they don't sit the whole day and play video games. And they learn how to make things that they can use. Let me see. Like this these knives that these guys are making. This is very nice. Yeah, they look how lovely it is to see children actually doing proper work and enjoying it. Are you guys enjoying it? Yes! Yeah, it's time to craft. Time to craft. Now is the time to work. Yeah? You want to make a knife? Yeah. Right, so then you must work now. Now you must send paper. Ah, get it nice and clean. Get it nice and clean. Work it out nicely. Like I said yesterday, teach your sons. Teach your sons how to work. Teach your sons how to work so that they know how to do what they need to do. That's it, boy. Are you enjoying it? Yes, yes. yes, because you love to do this kind of work, isn't it? Yes, yes. Alright, so we've reached a point now, Alhamdulillah, all our knives are quenched. And uh, this is called the tempering process. So, remember they were super heated and then they were quenched in the oil and now we leave them in the fire to 
to normalize, it's called normalization or tempering. Uh, and we are also going to normalize. Yes, because Burger Yard was here. You know, these guys that sponsor our chows and that, they don't like to come in the video. But anyway, we've got our food from Burger Yard, Alhamdulillah. Tazakala to Tasneem and Aslam for bringing the chow to the lightest. Boys, let's see, open it up. Let's check what they gave you. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Ish. <laughs> hey, Burger Yard. Yesterday they had. <laughs> Jazakala so much to Burger Yard for those beautiful burgers. We're not going to video anymore now. We all, the lighters are going to get into chowing. Uh, because we, we just finished the first part now, which was the knife making. And then they're going to do the woodworking in September where they're going to make a little fishing box to keep their stuff and i'm going to go next week inshallah to get the sponsored uh, rods and reels and that for them and in october we're going to do a fishing trip just here in Mulder's drift and then uh, in december we're going to have the big survival skills training so shout out to uh Bemats for so uh, supporting us with the transport shout out to burgers and beyond for lunch yesterday and burgers uh, burger yard for lunch today. It was amazing. The kids loved both meals. They were amazing. You know, they were lovely. Go and support these guys, people. They know how to make chow. They know how to make like a chow. Um, and please sponsor our project, Project 25. We're still waiting for people to send. Uh, you can send funds. Send whatever it is that you want to. Contact me uh, directly. You can put money uh, into our our account. Uh, you can send, uh, you know, money. We've got a pay fast system as well, where you just click and you can use your card to pay. Um, <clears throat> so, 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 support us, support us in what we're doing, so that uh, these kids can enjoy and complete that whole project. Because if this thing becomes something that's viable, uh, you know, then we can do it with so many more kids. Uh, this time we're just doing it with 25. We can do it with so many more kids. So that's the end of this. Yeah, I'm finished. I'm clear. Yeah, this was a hectic weekend for me, but I'm like, got done. The kids have made their knives. Uh, remember, knife making is an important skill because you're learning how to use metal and you're learning how to use wood. Uh, the children have, have learned so many different things in this in this time. So please, guys, support us uh, and uh, follow what we're doing. You know, uh, I'm gonna go very quiet now for a while. Maybe you'll see some fishing videos, but then. Uh, by September, we're going to do that woodworking course and then we'll get all of you. And thank you so much to everybody that's been watching, supporting us, sending your your, your comments. Even that encouragement is, is so much for us. Thanks, guys. Right, so guys, if you remember my main man here, Katlejo, is part of Project 25. He's my main uh, project uh, leader. Katlejo, how has Project 25 been going so far? So far, it's going well. Yeah, what have you guys done? Uh, we started with knife making after we made the fishing box. So now we are heading to make, to go for fishing. Fishing and then uh, the survival camp with the bushcraft. Yes. Yeah, but uh, let's hope. I got the fishing rods already. They were sponsored. Uh, let's hope we get more sponsors now because we need to still do the fishing trip and the survival skill training. And for that, people, we need... Um, we need funds because we have to pay for the transport, we have to pay for the venues. Uh, so reach into your pockets and send some money and some love for these guys. Any, any last words for the people out there? Please sponsor us, please. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys. Thank you.
Okay, people, I'm here at West Rand Bolt and Tool. There's also in uh, Randfontein, West Rand Bolt and Tool. I don't know if you guys can check that. Yeah, West Rand Bolt and Tool is opposite the shop right here in Randfontein. That's I did, that's the main road. And uh, we're here to meet up with Uncle Zahir. This is Uncle Zahir here. Yeah? Assalamu alaikum, are you Uncle Zahir? So you know we're doing a woodwork course today, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you said you got some stuff for us. Mm. Let's check what it is. So, Uncle Zahir is, is sponsoring us today this hammer, which the light is really neat. Uh, we've got a cutting disc for cutting the hinges. And then we've got some drywall screws as well. And then what's this magic stuff here of yours? Ouch. Okay, so we've got ouch super degreaser. If you remember when we were doing the knife course and the lighters were messing the oil all over the, the floor, this is going to take that oil out, huh, Uncle Zahir? Yeah, that is my product. I make it myself. Yeah. And it's a super degreaser. Right. It works on engines, from your engines to your, your bathroom tiles your stoves, to your uh, paving, everything. So that's an all-in-one. Yeah. And this is made in-house. So out super degreaser is what we're going to be testing out today. Uh, if you guys need balls, nuts, screws, your screws are loose, your balls are not tight enough, come and check this main man here. 25. Uh, Uncle Zahir here from Western Bolt and Tool, he'll sort you out. Jazakallah. Okay guys, so if you don't know it yet, uh, this weekend, this Saturday, is the second project in our Project 25, which is uh, making of a box. And as you can see, previously I did show you guys when I was at Plaza Board, um, I showed you this wood here. So this is the, the, the board that the kids are going to be using for Project 25's uh, making a box project that's going to be quite exciting so uh you know stay tuned for the actual workshop that's going to be happening uh that's on this saturday yeah so leave it now now let the name dream work makes dream work what dream work makes dream work. Yeah, the boxes are coming along beautiful look at us Still got our construction happening here. Huh? What's wrong? Be careful, don't touch the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Guys, move behind, away from the other. So everybody's sitting and waiting for the chance to get to the, to the drill. They've already learned how to knock nails to drill holes and to use the screwdriver to screw the pieces of wood. Now we're just get, getting to this point where there we go. And this is the result of today's hard work. We've got our very fancy fishing boxes made. This is part of the Project 25. Beautiful, aren't they? Are they beautiful? They're very beautiful. Gorgeous. Can't wait to use them when we go fishing, eh? Ne? Yes, so. So what's, what's your story with your box? Let's hear. Yo, 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 that's an innovation, huh? That is an innovation. I smell how you all look like you're going for to work with your lunchbox. Nice. Let's check this guy got something written here. What's it? Super, oh, okay, nice. Thanks to AMP today, Alhamdulillah. The lighties are going to be getting a horse rolls and the horse rolls 
The wars was supplied by uh, Azadal Meat Palace, Nabil Jazakala. Oh, Nabil and Amir. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nabil and Amir is our Beto from Beto. Beto. Our Beto. Tell Uncle Nabil we said Jazakala.